Hello, welcome. In our previous class, we were able to make one LED blink. In today's class, we will create the traffic light project where we'll make three LEDs to blink. So the components we will need, number one, we'll need Arduino Uno. In the previous video, we talked about the Arduino Uno. Next is a breadboard. We'll need three LEDs. We'll also need three 220 ohms resistors. We need a USB cable and four jumper wires. Now, if you remember in the previous project, I gave a little description where I said when it comes to the breadboard, all the wires connected on this horizontal line, they are all connected together. So if I put a pin here and I put a pin here, they are connected together horizontally. While in this section, we have the wires connected vertically. So if I put a pin here and I put a pin here, they are all together. So using this principle, we'll start I also mentioned in the previous video that one of the first things you should do is to set up the ground on your breadboard. This is one, two, three, four. That's the ground pin and I connect it here. What I've just done, I've made this entire line to run as ground. And for our LEDs, remember we also said the long leg is the positive, the plus, and the short leg is the negative, which is the minus. We also said that the ground is the same thing like saying negative. Put the negative pin in the ground and put the positive pin across. Next, on that same leg where we have the positive, we put our resistor still on the same straight line. The red LED, we want to program it using pin 13. So still on that same line, we connect the other jumper wire and we take it to pin 13. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. After red, the next light in the traffic light is the yellow light. Like we said, every pin connected here is connected to the ground. So I'll put my negative there and I get the positive one across. Then my resistor on the same line and my jumper wire from positive leg, which is the resistor. I want to program pin 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, and the third one for our project is the green light using the green LED. The same way we put the negative one here. And, and connect this to pin 11. If we check here the pins, we have pin 11, 12, 13. So 11 is the green one. 12 is the yellow one, 13 is the red one. Then this is our ground. So we have our connection set up and we're good to go. The first thing is to create the variables that we want to use to hold the pin. Let me write a comment here, create the variables. And assign the pins to them. I'm using the data type integer and want the red pin remember when we did the design we use pin 13 uh, then integer the yellow pin we use pin 12 and the green pin we use pin 11. we've just created three variables red pin yellow pin red pin yellow pin and green pin and we've assigned the pins to them pin 13 for red pin pin 12 for yellow pin pin 11 for green pin then we come to the void setup and in this void setup we declare the pin modes whether we want the pins to be output or input but in this case we're using output because they'll be giving out signals from the breadboard and giving it out to the environment so pin mode for the red pin output pin mode for the yellow pin is also output pin mode green pin it's also output so we've set the three pin modes for this particular project let me change the comment here to say set the pins to output pins using pin mode so the comment here is 
make the leds blink in turn so the first thing we want to do is when the red pin is on the yellow and the green pin will be turned off turn on the red led and turn off the yellow and green led so the code to do that is we use digital right red pin we set it to high digital right the yellow pin we set it to low digital right and the green pin we also set it to low we have it deluxe two minutes that means the red pin will be on for about two minutes while the yellow pin and the green pin will be off within that two minute period so in this second part we want to turn on the yellow yellow led and turn off the red and green leds digital right red pin is low digital right the green pin is low then we had another delay of about two seconds digital right red pin is set to low digital right arrow pin is set to low digital right green pin is set to high and we have another delay of two seconds this is the code remember we created the variables we set the pin modes and then we turn each light off and on in turns so connect arduino to a laptop if you set the board before you don't need to set it again arduino is selected but you must confirm that the port is selected so we'll save this project as traffic lights then i click here to upload it to the arduino okay you can see we have the lights when the red light is on the yellow and the green turn off when the yellow is on the red and the green turn off when the green is on the red and the yellow turn off with this we come to the end of this project i'll see you in the next class where we do the light chaser effect with the led